What's up guys, I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. On this channel, there are two rendang recipes. One is chicken rendang, which is with gravy, and the other one, beef menang, which is dry rendang. And today, I want to introduce to you one more rendang recipe originated from my hometown, the state of Perak, that is rendang tok. Now, rendang tok is a dry rendang quite similar to beef minang, but with some Indian influence. And that's why it involves the use of cumin, coriander, a fennel, in combination with some Malay spices uh, like cinnamon, cardamom, uh, star anise, and cloves, and it turns it into a unique flavor. Now, in this video, I want to show you how to prepare rendang tok from the state of Perak. Let's get started right now. I have about one kilo of beef brisket to make this rendang. You can also use other cuts such as chuck tender, rum, or topside. Cut the beef into large chunks about 1 to 2 inches. The beef will shrink a little after prolonged stewing, so it is best to cut slightly larger than you want. We need some chilies to make rendang. Remove the seeds of the dry chili. and then soak them in hot water for at least 15 minutes to soften it. You may include a few more bird's eye chili if you want it to be spicier and hotter. Let's move on to prepare the spice paste. Cut the onions into large chunks. There's no need to make them too small because we're going to combine with other ingredients to blend it. Rough cut a few cloves of garlic and ginger. This is galangal. It looks like ginger but it tastes differently. And ginger is not a replacement of galangal. It may be a little difficult to get it if you are not in Asia and you can try it to get it from any Asian grocery store because without galangal, the taste won't be authentic. Galangal is harder than ginger so try to cut it into smaller pieces to make it easy to blend. The next one is turmeric. Again, it may not be easy to get it outside Asia. If you really can't find it, you can substitute it with turmeric powder. Lemongrass. Remove both ends and also remove the outer shaft that is fibery. Cut it crosswise into smaller sections. We also need some turmeric leaf for rendang tok. Remove the meat rib and roll it up. Then use a sharp knife to slice into thin threads. Place all these ingredients into a blender along with some candle nuts as well as the dry chilies. Add sufficient water until it can carry the ingredients to move in a circular motion in the blender and blend for a minute until it becomes a thick paste. Okay, the spice paste is ready and now we move on to prepare the dry spices. Place the cumin, coriander and fennel seeds in the pan and toast them until aromatic. Then transfer to a spice blender to blend them into powder. Alternatively, you can use ground cumin, coriander and fennel, which are available in most of the grocery stores. The next step is to prepare the curry sick, that is a toasted coconut shavings. The toasted krisik is available in most of the grocery store in Malaysia and I hope you can get it at where you live too. If you can't get it, you can toast the coconut shavings in a pan over medium heat until it turns golden. 
and then break it down further by transferring it to a blender. Once we get everything ready, the cooking process is pretty simple. Place the dry spices such as the cinnamon, cardamom, star anise, cloves into the oil over medium heat. Let it sauté for a little while until you start to smell the aroma rising from the wok. Add the spice paste. And the ground spices. Saute over medium heat for the next 10 minutes. The water in the spice paste will evaporate eventually. And the color will darken after that. Then add the beef cubes. Followed by the coconut milk. Mix thoroughly and wait until it comes to a boil. Adjust the heat to minimum to cook the rendang at barely simmering temperature. Cover it with a lid and let it stew for at least 3 hours. The color of the gravy will turn from light brown to dark brown gradually over time as the water continues to evaporate away. Now it's time to add the Assam Kaping, curry sick, palm sugar, and season with salt and black pepper. and the shredded turmeric leaves. Let it cook for a little while. You then see the oil start separate from the gravy at this stage. This phenomenon is called pacha minyak, which means oil breaking literally in Malay. That indicates most of the water has evaporated. When the beef is tender and soft, then it is ready to serve. Garnish the rendang with some sliced red chilies and more turmeric leaves. That's how to make the aromatic rendang tok with a strong savory flavor. Please subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. I'll see you soon in some other similar videos on this channel. Bye for now.